Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and happy greetings to all. Before we begin with our presentation, we would like to introduce ourselves. My name is Fadiha Husna binti Hasrizan. I am Guru Yat son of Ganesh. I am Akila Nadira binti Muhammad Musaqim. I am Muhammad Umar Hafiz bin Muhammad Ats. We are from JBB team. The title of our project is Multi Circuit Board. We chose games as our project because children like us are synonymous with games. We love to play. The title we chose is to be related to to the topic of blood circulation. An example, blood circulatory system. Uma, yes, Maria. I do not understand the topic blood circulatory system. Can you share me the ways to help me master the topic easily? Of course, Maria. I know a method to help you learn the topic easily. Let us play a game called multi circuit board. Okay. On the left side, we have the questions. On the right side, we have the answers. We use the crocodile clip and clip it to the question we want to answer. Let's say we want to answer the first question. If you choose the correct answer, the board will light up. If you choose the wrong one, it will not light up. Now let's try the first question. When we inhale the air that enters the lungs, it's rich in oxygen. Correct, Maria. You have chosen the correct answer for question number one. The bulb is now lit up. Now let us try the second question. Our blood circulatory system is closely related to the I think it is the whole body. Well, Maria, the bulb is not lit up, oh, no. which means you have chosen the wrong answer. Please try again. Hmm. Maybe it's respiratory. Well done, Maria. You have chosen the correct answer, and the bulb is now lit up. Dear friends, I hope you have fun learning using the multi circuit board. You can also use it to learn other subjects such as mathematics, English, Malay language, science, and many more. Next, I would like to state the necessary apparatus and or materials to make this project. Namely, number one, mounting board. Number two, colored paper. Number three, paper clips. Number four, adhesive tape. Number five, Crocodile connecting wires with crocodile clips. Number six, dry cells. Number seven, bulbs. Number eight, dry cell holders. Lastly, at number nine, glue. Here are the steps to build multi circuit board. First of all, prepare written or printed questions and answers for the quiz. Paste the questions and answers randomly on the mounting board. After that, Make a hole on the top part of the mounting board. Using the paper clips, clip one side of each colored paper with the questions and answers. Then, build a circuit, electric circuit using the connecting wires with the crocodile clips as shown above. Insert the bolt through a hole from the back of the mounting board. Fasten it using adhesive tape. Connect the paper clips for our questions with to the respective correct answer using the connecting wires at the back of the mounting board. Lastly, touch one end of the crocodile clip to the paper clips for the answers. Touch one, touch the other end of the crocodile clip to the paper clips for the answers. By completing the project, we get to encourage teamwork and collaboration among us as we engage in the quiz and shared learning. Secondly, promote a growth mindset by including various questions of varying difficulty levels and improve our skills over time. Lastly, design in engaging and interactive quiz elements that inspire our creativity and critical thinking skills. I hope our project can help friends master the topic of blood circulatory system better and have fun playing this game. Multi-circuit board! Thank you!